Hey guys, I want to add my voice to the growing number of folks, both gay and straight alike, who are part of the It Gets Better campaign. Um, it breaks my heart, uh, the number of gay-related suicides that have happened with the youth in the last few weeks, um, and I don't want their deaths to be in vain. So it's very important to me to um, bring this issue as much attention as possible. Um, from my personal experience, my background, um, I grew up in a small community in Minnesota and I felt very isolated there and I was very depressed uh, a lot of times and I felt very different and very alone and um, I was also a very self-expressive um, person and I wore a lot of crazy clothes and bright colors and it was very different. Um, from my classmates and I got bullied and teased and made fun of a lot um, and I was gay bashed um, and I was I was came out in high school which was very difficult I'm um, not gonna lie uh, but I want to tell you the gay youth that it gets better um, and I know it's particularly hard you know lots of minorities get bullied and teased um, but more often than not, they go home to brothers and sisters or parents who are of the same minority. So at least they have that support system um, as gay, lesbian, transgender, bisexual people. We don't always have, um, the, you know, very often our parents or our siblings are not uh, like us. So the support isn't always there or we don't think that the support is going to be there. Uh, but again, I want to tell you, it gets better. Um, you know, lucky for me, I had a gay English teacher. He himself had tried to commit suicide, so, you know, he felt a definite duty to reach out to gay students, and he was very helpful in making me feel more comfortable about myself. Um, and I also, outside of my regular school, I went to a separate music school um, twice a week, where I took piano and voice. And there was a gay guy at the front desk who was very entertaining, uh, but he was really helpful in opening my eyes because I just felt so isolated. And he was like, "Oh my God, you know, the school is in Minneapolis, the music school." And he was like, "There are so many gay people in Minneapolis," and you know, he kind of pointed me in the direction of where I could find other gay folks. Um, so he was really helpful. So I was lucky to have those two people in particular um, through that period of my life. Um, and I think, you know, this speaks to older gay folks that, you know, it's important to, you know, definitely reach out to the gay youth and be mindful of, you know, how we treat, how all of us gay people treat each other. Because, uh, you know, we can be a little bitchy and want to be fierce uh, to each other. And I think it's really important to be mindful, to be kind and loving towards each other, especially when the outside world isn't always that way to us. Um, I also encourage gay artists um, to not be afraid to talk about these issues. You know, ironically for me, I have a single coming out in a few weeks called House of Mirrors, which directly talks about bullying and people who speak badly about gay people um, and really gets in their faces and saying, you know, well, you better look in the mirror uh, before you start talking bad about me. Um, and I have a couple other songs in the album as well that very directly talk about bullying and about, um, you know, the need to be yourself no matter what. Um, so I really encourage other gay artists to, you know, whether you're a painter or writer or musician, um, dancer or whatever, uh, to really, um, you know, express these things and bring them to light because it's very important to do this right now. Um, so, you know, once again, uh, to the young gay folk out there, uh, it does get better. Um, and what may seem like a huge, you know, monumental problem or burden or flaw um, or weakness will someday be your greatest strength. And you will find people out there who will love you and support you for exactly who you are. Um, so thank you.